I think mainstream media like Fox and even CNN like competes for views by running constant 24-hour news cycles based upon fear, division, outrage, and panic. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. First of all, I don't agree with what you're saying. We're getting right into this one, but give me 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. 2022 has shown us what might be coming. So if you're sick of everything being so expensive and the threat of recession hanging over our head constantly, it's time to take action. A precious metal IRA uses tax advantaged gold and silver to keep inflation at bay and give you protection from financial nightmares. And you'll get a stunning free three ounce silver American virtue coin when you open a qualifying IRA account this month. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. So call 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. Isn't it amazing how Democrats can riot, attack the White House, form violent, openly ideological mobs that attack people for political reasons for years on end, largely based on myths, misinformation, and conspiracy theories given to them by the likes of Don Lemon on CNN. Okay, facts first here on CNN. <laughs> Musk said that Hands Up, Don't Shoot was made up. The whole thing was a fiction. Yeah, he's right, you know. This needs some context. No. And yet, we never hear about those anymore, do we? They're left to be forgotten, never to be spoken of again. Right now, they're attempting to rewrite history to remove left-wing, Democrat Party-derived political violence, specifically so they can use this one event, the one time that Republicans rioted, endlessly as propaganda to demonize their opponents. And I believe they're doing this so they can eventually criminalize the Republican Party, one of America's two historic parties. Are we the baddies? Now, the guy I'm about to show you is definitely part of that effort, albeit clearly not a Rhodes Scholar. Yet he does manage to let some truth slip out in his dank buds induced haze, which sends Don Lemon into another one of his hissy fits. I don't think the you know <clears throat> the movie's not just about like the the Capitol riot and all that. It's also about like media echo chambers. You know what I mean? Yes, I, I know what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, man, I know what you're saying. No past that. <laughs> and like the dangers of the 24-hour uh, news cycle and how I think mainstream media like Fox and even CNN <laughs> like Fox and even CNN like competes for views by running constant 24-hour news cycles based upon fear, division, outrage and panic probably to like sell ads. So it's not just about the Capitol, right? You're right. It's fact. This is unequivocally 100% undeniable, and the vast majority of the American people agree. I'm sure that given CNN's efforts to de-radicalize and America's increasing distrust in the media, Don Lemon's going to have a humble, reflective response to start building back that trust, right? No, you idiot! So it's not just about the Capitol, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. First of all, I don't agree with what you're saying. Um, there's nothing fake about CNN. Nope, he's just gonna lie, rewrite history, and gaslight the 10 people watching him. First of all, I don't agree with what you're saying, but I'm not exactly sure of how that played into people going into the Capitol uh, and rioting on January 6th. Oh, well, allow me to retort. Let me suggest that CNN did have a hand in January 6th by taking part in what amounts to an attempted coup by corrupt elements of the government, and then perpetuated a massive lie against the country in the form of Russian collusion in the Steele dossier, which turned out to be the actual Russian disinformation, even suggesting that Donald Trump, the president of the United States, was a Russian agent. Here are 18 reasons Trump could be a Russian asset. This led people down a path of radicalization. Not to mention just the fact CNN openly acts as Democrat Party state media, which people see and will react to. The gaslighting that Lemon is purposely carrying out right now is meant to have a maddening effect, which I can assure you is working. I'm very surprised that Don is continuing to be a fraud despite his new boss recently doing a New York Times interview where he says, quote, the uninformed vitriol 
vitriol, especially from the left, has been stunning. Which proves my point. So much of what passes for news is name calling, half truths, and desperation. This is out. This is ridiculous. You are gaslighting people. You are giving people misinformation. What are you doing, brother? All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Then leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. <laughs>